And now, your first Alert 5 weather. Well, welcome back and thanks for joining us here at News 5. We have some big changes on the way this upcoming weekend. And this is all due to a storm system that's currently over Oregon right now. Now, this low pressure system will eventually make its way over towards the state of Colorado, and we will be starting to see some more showers enter the area. But as for right now, we're sticking with that cloud cover, and those showers are going to stay isolated to the mountains and the higher terrain. But let's zoom in here closer to the state. Now, La Junta could start to see some more showers pick up. But as you can see, we do have some snow showers all the way from Telluride up to Vail. Now, these are light right now, but they do have some accumulations down in Telluride right now, and we will likely get some more accumulations this upcoming weekend. Now, live look at Keystone right now. You can see the pavement down there is wet from those snow showers and the rain that they saw earlier on today, but nothing really to accumulate on the ground. Now, again, that could change going into this upcoming weekend. As for here at home, though, 50 59 degrees. We slowly starting to see that temperature decline and more cloud cover make its way into the area. That humidity is slowly rising though too from those showers that are moving throughout the area, but we have seen those wind gusts definitely die down as we go into the evening hours. Now we did have some red flag warnings up at the northeastern part of the state, but those have since expired. Now what we are dealing with though is some winter, winter storm warnings for the very southern part of Huerfano County. Now this is going to be for those higher peaks and those mountains. Now the San Juans could also see some snow going into this upcoming weekend. This higher piece could see one to three feet of snow this upcoming weekend. So definitely some big changes on the way. As for those wind gusts, so we have definitely died down, but we are still seeing them out there. 20 miles an hour for the Springs, 24 down in Pueblo. Now look at Lamar. They're gusting to 44 miles an hour in Trinidad, 41. So it is definitely still gusty out there for some of us. But as we go into the rest of this evening, we'll slowly start to make uh, see some showers make their way off the mountains and into the plains. But we'll slowly start to clear out with that cloud cover and some of those showers as well. But going into Friday, that's when we're going to start to see things change. And we're going to more so Friday evening is when we're going to start to see those rain chances enter the area. As for those, those overnight lows for tonight, 42 for the Springs, 47 for Pueblo. 30s for the mountains and some more 40s and 50s for the plains. We're going to be much cooler tomorrow. 67 as a high here in the spring, 74 down in Pueblo. We're going to be sticking with some of those lower 60s, upper 50s for the plains and some 70s for the mountains. As for the upcoming seven days of watching Saturday for some breezy conditions as well as some rain, and that will start Friday evening. And these are those rain chances for your hour by hour, but we'll eventually warm up towards this upcoming week. Pueblo 59 for your Saturday. Again, we'll have some breezy conditions. Canyon City 55 for your Saturday. Again, that's when we're going to see those rain chances enter the area, but 70s by the end of the weekend. Now, Woodland Park, since you guys are at a higher ele elevation, we could see some wintry mix in there going into Saturday, but we'll eventually warm up into those 60s. Megan.